A lot of those walkers, runners and riders tomorrow morning on the trail is going to be feeling a little bit cool out there here, but then we're already warming up the next few days. Tomorrow that's going to lead to an elevated fire risk, especially out in those fields where all the combines, grain carts, semis and everything else are working right now. And then the rest of the week, it's basically a warm and dry one continuing after this one short cool day as we started off October. So here's this fire weather watch coming up tomorrow during the afternoon hours in particular across northwest Iowa, all the counties colored orange. Orange. You folks up that direction are going to have the probably the most com uh, combination of heat and high winds. Well, gusty winds tomorrow. We won't call them high. High pressures right now overhead in western Iowa. That's going to shift east though through the rest of tonight. And behind it, our winds are going to get a little bit stronger and they're going to come in from the south and warm us up. In fact, it's already warmer in Nebraska than it is here in Iowa this evening. Tomorrow morning, a lot of folks wake up with some 40s, maybe a few readings in the 50s to western Iowa. That's because your winds turn to the south first as we head through the rest of tonight. Everybody's winds get stronger out of the south though through the day tomorrow. Instead of 60s like today, most of us are going to warm up towards the upper 70s. Notice we mentioned northwest Iowa. That's the warmest spot tomorrow in the upper and the lower 80s and without very much moisture either. Our air is very dry and when you add in some wind, look where the strongest winds tomorrow are going to be across mainly northern and western Iowa with some 30 to 35 mile per hour gusts. That's why that fire weather watch is up that direction. So outdoor burn Obviously not a great idea tomorrow and obviously all the folks who are probably still out in the combines this evening need to be careful out there during the day tomorrow as well. Some 25 mile per hour gusts here closer to the Des Moines Metro and points off to the south and the east. So more heat, more bit of a breeze tomorrow. Then as we head into the day on Thursday, another cold front comes our direction. The problem is it's not going to do anything like bring us rain or showers or storms or anything like that. Not even really that much of a cool down either. Parts of northern Iowa, you'll get maybe a few degrees cooler upper 70s Thursday, lower to middle 80s though, farther off to the south and the east. That front will bring a bit of a spread in temperatures north to south. And then we've got another front after that. This one comes up towards Saturday night. It also doesn't do much for us besides maybe kick up our winds. Ahead of that second front this weekend, temperatures jump up once again. Probably the hottest day of the eight day forecast is going to be to start this first weekend of October. A few days from now, middle to upper 80s and a stronger breeze out of the south. Whole bunch of sunshine not only this weekend, but leading up to the weekend, after the weekend, you get the picture. Mostly dry and pretty warm fall weather as we head through the next several days.